Hey guys, and welcome to my newest Let's Play. Welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy Fables Chocobo's Dungeon. If you ever played a Mystery Dungeon game before, like Pokemon, yeah, you know what the general gameplay is. But for those who don't, this is basically a roguelike dungeon crawler with Final Fantasy characters. Mostly Chocobo. But yeah, let's not do that file, that's my posting file. And we, I'm actually using a classic controller for this. So, it doesn't really matter which one we do. But yeah, I use a classic controller with this just because I need the R button. That's literally the only reason. But anyways, let's get started. After a brief loading screen. Here we go. Also, I think this is my- no, this isn't my first game with voice acting. Also, Choco is absolutely adorable in this game. But this Chocobo is always adorable in any game he's in. I feel like that's been in a Final Fantasy game before, that tower design, but I can't remember where. Oh well, it'll come back to me. But yeah, this game is full of Final Fantasy references, especially in the music. Also silence. Here we are, Chocobo. The Tower in the Sands. And this is Sid. It's a Final Fantasy Rumor game. Rumor has it that timeless power is hidden somewhere in here. I've been after this jewel for a long time. And I suspect that it's going to be the key to building that airship. And since he's Sid, of course he has an airship. Just imagine, Chocobo. Once we get our hands on this jewel, you might be able to fly through the skies. Oh, silly Sid, only black chocobos can fly. <laughs> I'm excited too, but keep it cool. We still have to be careful in here. Let's go, shall we? It's off to another adventure. Alright, so let's get started. Obviously, this dungeon is literally just a tutorial. Also, it has the uh, Crystal Tower remix in the background. So that's a good thing. But anyways, if you ever played a Mystery Dungeon game before, you know exactly how this works. But otherwise, for those who don't, it's pretty much a tile-based uh, dungeon crawler. Every single time you move, you take a turn. And it's all based on tiles, so yeah. Also holding R lets you see things. So let's move on. Right now, it's not that important, but once we reach hmm. some enemies, it will be. Could we be in a mysterious dungeon? The shape of these dungeons shifts every time you go in. Let's be extra careful. And yeah, it's randomly generated. Except for this one. This one's always the same. Chocobo, what's the matter? Are you hungry? No! We're at 99% hunger. I'll explain the bar at the upper right in a minute. Hey, look! Here's some Gasol greens. That's how you pronounce it? They're your favorite, aren't they? Go ahead. Eat up, Chocobo. But yeah, basically, if to pick up items, you just walk over them. I always call them Geshel right. Greens. Time to get moving. Whatever, I'll just call them Greens. Also, is there any way to turn down the music? No? Okay, fine. Yeah, the music's kind of loud in this game. Oh, well. But yeah, also if you hold R, you can uh, move diagonally. You can do that anyways, but it's set to diagonal. But anyways, yeah. Our hunger meter is over there on the upper right. If that ever he reaches zero, we move really slowly and start losing health. I don't know what Sid was talking about when we were hungry. We're at ninety-eight percent. Talons and a saddle. I'd say we're off to a good start. As you well know, talons boost attack strength, while the saddle boosts your defense. They're both important items. Weapons and armor. Oh, I should probably remind you: if you ever get hurt and collapse inside a mysterious, you lose all the items you've obtained all at once. 
Remember that. Remember and yeah, it's a mystery dungeon game. If you ever die in a dungeon, you lose all your items. Don't forget that you won't lose any items that you have already equipped. Unless now, you have them equipped. You, equip some items? you know how to do that. But yeah, basically there are three type of equipment in this game. Claws, saddles, and collars. Just around the corner. I'll see you there. We'll join him in a second. First, let's actually pick these up. So we got some rusty talons and a rusty saddle. We're getting tetanus. But yeah, basically just go into the menu with the X button on the uh, controller and equip them. These things suck, by the way. They only give like one stat. Also, you can just tap R to go into the menu. Yeah, they give only like one point of stats. Any good treasure, some traps inflict damage while others restrict your movement. But just don't step on them is what I say. Yep, traps. Traps are annoying. There. Move diagonally, just like that. In your... Come on, Chocobo. You give it a shot. Hmm? Huh? What's the matter? Has it been too long? Afraid you're out of shape? How can you get out of shape from walking? But yeah, this is actually one of the few times the traps aren't invisible. Diagonal movement is a basic skill, Chocobo. You better get your chops back up. Come on, let's go. Sid, you're a dick. But anyways, yeah, traps are usually actually invisible, but for sometimes they aren't. So to move diagonally, you can we can just hit R. Oh no! It's a trap! Star Wars reference. But anyways, out, Looks like we got company. anyways, time for combat. Yeah, like I said, everything in this game is actually turn-based. So it's important to remember that every move you make, your enemies get to make a move. So this guy is actually like one square away from us, so if we move forward, he'll get a free hit. But if we just attack in place, he moves forward and now we can just wail on him. Fortunately, he's not that difficult, like, at all. And killing him makes the stairs appear. Let's go down. I think this place is three levels down. Oh, hey, more than one enemy. Oh, man, there's more of that. Chocobo, two to one isn't good. Run into the hallway. You might be tough, but you don't want to end up surrounded. You should always use a hallway to fight multiple enemies. That's actually good advice for this part of the game. Later in the game, not so much, but for now, yeah, we want to basically funnel things into a hallway. Also about hallways, you can attack around corners. Also, there's a potion over here. Uh, how many squares is he away? Yeah. So basically, we just want to stand here and hit them. Combat will get much more complicated when we have to, like, fight multiple enemies and actually get some abilities. But for now, it's basically just attack. Also, every time you see this, that means it's the last floor. Or at least you're going to the last floor. And usually that means there's a boss there. Careful, Chocobo. This one looks tougher than the others. Yep. And also, yeah, Those we do abilities have abilities. Tough enemies. Give it to him with your Chocobo kick. Alright, so he is, let's see, two squares away? Yep. So if we move forward, he'll move forward. There we go. And if we just hit L, we can open up our abilities. Right now, we only know one. It's slightly more powerful. And abilities use up SP. Right now, we can only have a, have three SP. Uh, we gain SP back from passing turns and getting attacked. Actually, from getting attacked and dealing attacks. Basically, it's around damage. Damage gives you SP. All right! Nice going! You are my partner, after all. But who could have known we'd encounter monsters in a place like this? Monsters in a dungeon. Chocobo, you're right. That is weird. Now, let's go get our treasure. All right. So yeah, we're at the end of the dungeon, and that means it's time for a cutscene. One that might or might not have a spoilerific montage afterwards. Just warning you right now. Stop. 
<laughs> well, there you are, my fellow courageous treasure hunters. Also, the lip sync in this game is absolutely horrible. And Vogue. Could this be the treasure you were talking about? Oh, timeless power. Well, I'd say you're a tad too late. Also, the bloom is absolutely terrible right now, too. Also, I hope you like spoilers. Otherwise, just skip the next few minutes. But I'm pretty much gonna stay quiet throughout the mo majority of this. Actually, now that I look at it, half these scenes are on the back of the box, so never mind. But yeah, there are some minor spoilers in that. Not Nothing huge. But it's time to actually start the game. By somehow falling up. Oh my god, did he just land on his head? I think Sid is dead. Who, who are you people? How did you spring out from the fountain like that? Fountain? Well, I guess that explains why we're wet. Oh my. But what on earth is this place? And why don't you tell us who you are first? Said you just fell out of a fountain. I think you should be the one doing the explaining. Uh, oh, where are my manners? I am Gail, the town's mayor. Well, I'm Sid. I'm a treasure hunter. And this is my partner, Chocobo. I feel like I've heard that somewhere before. We were in the tower in the sands and wound up here somehow. The tower in the sands? Why, I've never heard of such a thing. It's a tower. This region has always been known as Memoria. Final Fantasy IX reference. As you can see, it is a land of beautiful waters and greenery. And you are in the town of Lost Time, located in the center of Memoria. There is no sand here. And the only tower we have is this clock tower. But yeah, Memoria was the final dungeon in 9, I believe. Memoria? Lost time? Huh. Looks like we were sent to another world altogether. You seem surprisingly calm about this. Well, no 
Never mind the past. It doesn't really matter where you two are from. Awkward pause. The that matters is now. We haven't had visitors for such a long time. The two of you are most welcome. Eh, at least the inhabitants are nice. But yeah, the lip flap in this game is kind of terrible. It's not even remotely close. If that's true, I wonder what happened to Irma and Volg. Where could they have gotten to? Also, Volg is a black chocobo. Technically, he should be able to fly. Just saying. Ah, <gasps> uh, rats! She made away with timeless power. Also, that's a really stupid name for a jewel. Why does that woman insist on always getting in our way? When I see her, she is in so much trouble. Also, according to the clock, it's 9... Actually, wait, is it actually 9... No, it's not actually 9.10. Is it coming from the clock tower? I was going to say, it would be actually really cool if that clock actually matched the Wii's... Actually, I have no idea what my Wii is set to right now. It might actually be accurate. Probably not. Hmm. Wait. What was I saying? Wait, uh... Who are you? Well, maybe that brain trauma finally caught up to him. Nope, that's not good. Well then. It appears that the bell of oblivion has rung. But there's no need for a look. If we forgot about it, we never needed it. Huh. What your name was or what you were doing here. None of these things are important. Well, that's some delayed amnesia. That's gotta be a first. That's right. Forget it all. Forget all the bad things. That's right. Forgetting everything is the key to the future. Suddenly, That's this right. town seems Forget more cultish. Anger, fear, and hatred. Forget it all, and we can all smile. Hi, Beardy. Forget it all, and we can all be happy. Forget it all, and we can all get along. Okay, maybe we should leave now. Forget it all, and we can all live in peace. This What's the deal is with creepy. Guys? But yeah, basically Basic memories. Forgetting is a virtue. Yeah. It is the useless memories that we carry forever that weigh us down. Why do I feel- I feel like this Wait. is a thing I've heard before. Wait just a minute! I'm Sharma. Yes. I'm here to why would you-, you oh, there we go. I was gonna say, why would you introduce yourself to them? Rescue? Sharma. These people are in no danger. We're only trying to have our guests understand the beauty of forgetting. Stealing people's memories is nothing short of robbery. But anyways, this is Sherma. Please. If you couldn't tell. We're not stealing anything. It's the bell that could... Also, you'd think they get rid of the bell at some point. Come on. We have to get away from them. Everyone in this town is a little crazy. Also, this image is adorable. Crazy? Sherma, how many times must I tell you that forgetting is a virtue? Mayor Gale, I have precious memories that I don't want to forget. Sherma, if you really just wanted to make them all Those stop forgetting, just blow up the bell. And obsessions are what cause conflict. Then again, that might be considered it's terrorism. It's still not too late. Sherma, let us forget everything. Live with us in lost time. Also, I just realized, where did Sherma come Absolutely. from? I'm thinking of the world map right now, and she just came out of, like, the suburb area. Please follow me. Before the bell strikes again. And she doesn't live there, so... Sure. I never thought about that before. But yeah, apparently Sid now has amnesia. He must be so confused right now. But yeah, she just came from, like, the forest over there. Weird. Also, that's the only time we're ever going to see, like, the world map movement like that. 
Also, it seems no matter what I LP, I can't escape from farms. Yes, there are farming elements in this game. They're not very in-depth, though. This is Stella's farm. Isn't it a pretty place? I live here with my Aunt Stella. Just the two of us. We can relax now. The sound of the bell won't reach us Actually, here. Actually, we're not that far out of town. Thanks, you would Sherma. think we would be able to hear it, but nope. We're... Also expect to spend a lot of time here. Oh. What was I about to say? Uh, uh... No, don't force yourself to remember. It makes the pain worse. Weren't you just going on about how it's important just to remember? Relax. Try to breathe slowly. Oh no, I'm beginning to sound just like those people. Oh, she actually acknowledges that. Rats! <sighs> Rats! You should get some rest. Come inside the house. Well then. But yep, I can't escape farms no matter what I LP apparently. Oh well. We'll do some farming later. We are, we can't even do farming right now. Your partner is sound asleep. He must have been exhausted. Sherma told me a little bit about you. I'm Stella, and this is my farm. This is Stella. She's actually pretty nice. He says thanks for everything. Also, yeah, Chokebo can't talk. Oh, I see. Tell me, Sherma, when did you learn how to speak Chocobo? You know, it's strange. But I look into his eyes, and I just understand. Chuckpa isn't saying any of these things. Is that so? If that's the case, maybe you can ask him a few things for me. Also, strangely for enough, example, nobody in the game has trouble understanding him. why they came here. I... I didn't say I could speak, Chocobo. Just try saying quick. He might understand. Really? You think? I'm not so sure. When did Chuckpa start saying okay, quick? Didn't they used to say wark? Try. Ow. I just smacked myself. Oh, he says he understands us just fine. We don't have to talk like he does. Hey, why didn't you tell me that earlier? You just made me say quit. That was embarrassing. It's not that embarrassing to say quit. But yeah, when did Chocobo stop saying oh, what wark? Mean for you to apologize. Or did they ever stop? Um, that gentleman's name is Sid, and he and Chocobo are treasure hunters. He says they travel all Treasure the Hunters. That's probably a Final Fantasy VI reference. Hmm. Do you think he might know something about, you know... Also, I have a feeling the music in the background is a reference to oh, one of the games. He just might. Let me ask. Chocobo, would you happen to have met my sister? She's been missing for a long time. She's my older sister. She's really pretty and really nice. You might remember her by her... Um... We should br oh. oh. I can't remember. Well then. Why? That's not good. Why can't I remember? Was another of my memories stolen? Could I have heard the bell of oblivion ringing again? You know, for someone who hates that bell, you do spend oh, a you huge amount of time in town. It makes you forget important things. Yeah, Sherma doesn't see doesn't seem to Sherma, understand to stay away from town. Staff? The one you always carry on your back. What? Oh no! I must have left it in town. And really, Stella, Sherma? I'm going out. I gotta go find my staff. Well, she's going back to the town she hates. But anyway, we're finally in control again. Yeah, it's a Final Fantasy game. There are long cutscenes. Let's take a quick look around Stella's house. Actually, you know what? We'll do that next time. So, next time on Let's Play Chocobo... Final Fantasy Fables Chocobo Dungeon... I might just, I would call it Chocobo Dungeon, but there's already a game by that name for the PS1. But anyways, till next time, we'll take a quick look around the house. Also, we can sleep. This does absolutely nothing except look cute. No, literally, it does absolutely nothing, no matter what part of the game you're in. So yeah, till then.